Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom going to freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning, too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. Chloe, we haven't played this game in years. And it's missing half the pieces. <laughs> nice try, Max. But you can't erase your shame that easily. What 
What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy lives on. <laughs> okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Hey, did you see my dad's camera yet? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? All right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two undersupervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... I... Don't know how to... Holy shit! Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> A vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long <laughs> Max Silver. Silver. We were searched. So <laughs> You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek, see mine eyes spot. <laughs> what a Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project? Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned: the journey will be treacherous and full of. <laughs> Treasures. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Blue. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Uh, why? <laughs> Dude, that was... Amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh, I would never throw away something so precious. <laughs> okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook! 
This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. But where could it be? Mm -hmm. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Take that, Rat King. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Where could that map be? It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town, all in the past now. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. Bingo. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet. Which we hid inside a dark cavern, AKA the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. You think it's still there? Should be. As long as the clean police haven't gotten to it first. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have 
one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. There it is, the dark cavern. Crap, I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. What can I set on top of that crate to get me closer? Almost there. I just need a few more inches. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. I think that should be tall enough. There is a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. I think I can squeeze through now.
It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Keep it moving, desk. <laughs> Crap. You have to go back. One step closer. I never realized how much I liked vintage things. This cooler is awesome. Glad this thing is empty. Finally. This is a nice close-up shot. I could remember how it works. <laughs> Got it. Nothing can stop the mighty bluebeard. Chloe Price, my best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And spiders. Have you now, Skellywag? Man, I'm gonna miss her. Are you just watching me up there, Creeper? You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend, that's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here, we have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way.
but you did it! No big deal. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Walk the plank. Perfect. Wait just a minute. Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot, er, peg. On another captain's boat! Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Grrrr! One amulet. Coming right up. Okay, uh... I, th I think it goes... <sighs> Damn it. I forget how to make this... Stay on. Stay here. I'll find something to hold it on. Thanks, ma Time to stick the amulet to the telescope. Then that treasure is ours. It's not that I don't like the blue. I'm just sad to see the old color go. Score! One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. Avast, matey. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were gonna be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait, how am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with something. Here goes nothing. Okay, this drawing is supposed to line up with something. I think the drawing should turn the real world into something priority. I can't line it up with anything. Maybe I'm not holding it right. I should rotate it and see if it works that way. I 
think the drawing should turn the real world into something priority. Maybe if I just keep rotating. I think I have the right angle, but where does it line up? Got it. <laughs> yes! You rock! Where is it? Here? Okay, take a step right. No, no, the other right. My other right or your other right? <sighs> My other right. Got it. Wait, what? Just go that way. Oh, perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. That is not what we buried. What is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Aha. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. <laughs> Ahoy there, plank walkers! <laughs> it's me, Bloody Bill the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary. I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed, and always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. To Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you were so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine? <laughs> How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe.
You were really sweet. Oh, man. I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. All these memories. I want to look at everything. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. Hmm. This looks like the punchline to something. Where's the rest? These are awesome. Chloe's always been good at making up cool things to do. <laughs> Most of these are pretty far off base. It's so hard to predict the future. Maybe it's better to enjoy the present instead. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. There. Now you've got something pretty to look at. Hey, little guy. <laughs> Aren't you cold in there? That's so cool that Chloe's mom is thinking about this. You sure were troublesome to find. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. You're such a space hog. Move over. Nope. Chloe and I have been friends for so long. Maybe I'm worrying too much about this move changing things. Ah, keep messing up my picture. There are no mistakes in art. <laughs> no peeking at my work. I wasn't. Get out of here. Chloe and I spilled that wine months ago, but I still feel bad about it. I wonder if that's the voicemail Chloe's mom was talking about. She did say she didn't want Chloe to hear it, but if Chloe's in trouble at Blackwell, this might be my only chance to get her to talk about it. Rogers, Marissa's mother. Marissa from Blackwell. I need to talk to you about what your daughter did to Marissa in class today. I'll be keeping Marissa home with me tomorrow. At this point, I'm not comfortable sending her back to school at all. I don't know if your daughter's having trouble adjusting or what, but this needs to be addressed. Hey, hold on. <sighs> Are you serious? I don't want my parents to hear that. I've... 
never gotten in trouble like this before. They already know. I, um, I saw an email on your parents' computer. Shit. What happened? Something so minor. Her mom is exaggerating. I bet Marissa told her that I... I'm telling you, it's stupid. Come on. You've got to tell me what happened. I'm your best friend. And you read my feelings too well. I almost told you upstairs. Man, none of this would have happened if I had you around. I wouldn't care what anyone said. Uh, sorry. I don't mean it's your fault. I... <sighs> anyway, she wouldn't leave me alone, so I turned up her Bunsen burner in science. Just a little. What? No one got hurt, not even close. You know that I know what I'm doing. Chloe. What do you mean she wouldn't leave you alone? She was making fun of my clothes and... calling me a scholarship kid. That really sucks. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah. Thanks, Max. Hey, what if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? Today's been awesome, huh? For real. I love it when you stay over. Yeah. This used to be the rainy day pirate ship. It's good to see you, old friend. I guess I should try talking to Chloe again about my news. It actually might be really fun to write letters to Chloe after I move. Is writing once a week too often? Will I run out of things to say? Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. This is so silly. This jawbreaker is going to last forever? Just like our friendship. Oh. Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mushiness alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once her parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She's already got enough drama from Blackwell. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Chloe? Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm, um... My family's moving to Seattle. Really... soon. 
Hey. In three days, right? What? You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know? But they said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess mom and dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding anything. Don't look so worried, Max. It's okay. Come on, Dorkmeister. It's not the end of the world. I should have just told you earlier. God, I feel so stupid. Max, I said it was okay. I was trying to tell you this morning, but... But I totally distracted you with the pirate tape. Success. Seriously? I didn't want this hanging over us all day. Plus, I know you hate this kind of conversation, so... I just left it alone, you know? Come on. I want to spend every minute we have together... having fun. We'll keep in touch, okay? And visit, and maybe we'll move back. Who knows? Chill out. We can go to college together. It's gonna be fine. We're Max and Chloe, remember? We're always together. Even when we're not. That's true. Cool. Let's find something fun to do. Mom? 